Hey everyone, how's it going? I'm Gary Hibner here from Heavy Tones, a YouTube guitarist here from South Africa. And as you know, I like to do videos on going low with guitar. But in this video, I want to go over something that might be slightly overlooked. And that's the amount of gain that you use when going low. Now, the simple answer is, the lower you go, the less gain you actually need. But I find that this is maybe something that's overlooked. So in this video, I'm going to do some examples where I'm going to take a bunch of guitars using different tunings, going from drop D all the way down to drop G and showing you how you use less gain as you go lower. So let's take a look at that. So starting off, I'm going to be using the Squire Telecaster Deluxe, and this is tuned to drop D. Then on my software, I'm using STL Tone Hub as the amp emulation, and I've got an instance of the Diesel VH4 that's using channel three. And the gain is set to about halfway, and it sounds like this. Okay, so let's play through a riff. I've got a riff with some single note sort of janty riff, then into some chunking heavy power chords, and you can hear the difference. Okay, great stuff. So that's the riff in drop D. Now I'm gonna jump to another guitar that's in drop C. Next up, I'm using this PRS Mark Meshock and this is tuned to drop C. I'm gonna keep the same settings. So I'm using STL Tone Hub with the VH4 with the gain set at the middle. We got something like this. And I'm gonna play through that same riff. Okay, so that's drop C. Now the fun really starts kicking in when we get to the next tuning, which I'm using is drop A. So I'm gonna jump for my next guitar and then we're gonna take a look at the gain there. Okay, so over here, I'm using my Stage Master 7 and this is tuned to drop A. Now, what you're gonna start noticing is at drop A, you're gonna start needing less gain. So I've got this. And if I just play some chunky chords, the gain's okay, but I think I'm just gonna pull this down slightly. So I pulled the gain slightly down, but you're actually getting a bit more clarity and a less of that sort of fuzziness to the tone. So let's play through that same riff using drop A. Now I'm just gonna beef up the gain and play it back and you'll hear how a lot more gain really isn't helping. Here we go. So it sounds okay, but really just pulling back that gain is really gonna make all the difference when going low. Pulling it back even more. Cool, so there you go with drop A. Now, let me jump to my next guitar, which is in drop G, and you'll see how you even need less gain with that. Okay, so for the last tuning, I've got this guitar, which is an Arbnez MM1 baritone tuned to drop G. I'm gonna leave the amp emulation set at the same with the gain, and I'm just gonna do some playing. Now, 
Now let's up that gain. Maybe push it quite a bit. It's really sounding too sort of messy with that gain. I'm gonna pull this all the way down to around about over here. So it's actually pretty low. That sounds good there. So as you can see, with the low tuning, like drop G, you really don't need that much gain. So I'm just gonna play through that rip so you can hear it within the context of a mix. So there you go, that's going through drop D, drop C, drop A, and drop G with different gain settings that suit the tuning. So that's the basic gist of gain. The lower you go, the less gain you need. Don't crank it too much because you're actually just going to muddy up that sound and give less clarity to it. So I hope this video helped you in how much gain you need to use on what type of tuning that you want to use. And if you like that video, as usual, please hit that like button, leave some comments below. It really does help with the algorithm. And if you haven't already, please subscribe to the channel. I'd highly appreciate it. And don't forget to click on that notification bell to be notified of future videos. I'll catch you in the next one.